Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Taking a break from what you love the most is difficult, but sometimes necessary. Coming back from a long break is humbling, especially when you share it with the world like I do. I don't know why I'm so out of breath though. <laughs> no way. I usually make climbing videos when I feel my best, but in this video, I will also show you how I climb at my worst. This one looks pretty hard, but I'm gonna go straight on it just to kind of see where I'm at. It's an awkward start. Oh, those are some tiny holes. Maybe I have to ease into it a little bit more. I'm gonna try some other bowlers, I think. Everything just seems so big and so hard right now. This is supposed to be a 7B plus, but that dyno looks huge. All right. I guess that was more committing than anything. Like the first sloper is really bad. You just have to go again to the second one and that's equally bad. But if you just commit to it and your body is like on the right side of that hold, it's okay. I don't know why I'm so out of breath though. That's strange. Let's hope I don't strangle myself with this microphone. So this is a 7B, super tricky. It's like a, like a semi, like a stemming problem where you use your palms more than actually pulling. Next one I'm gonna try is this orange one. I've tried it a few times without being able to do it. It's super tricky. You have to do this like 360. I've probably fallen 20 times on that move and then five times on the last move or second to last move. Uh, but I feel like today I might be able to do it because as I've said before, I think I gain like around 10% extra strength when the cameras are rolling. And it's been a while since I made climbing videos. And uh, the reason for that is because I haven't felt great. Like I've had a little bit of pain in my finger, nothing like serious or anything, but I felt like if I pulled hard, then it could potentially turn into an injury. And I think that's the key to staying away from injuries um, is to listen to your body and take a break when it tells you to. And another thing that is uh, good for my body that I've been doing lately is uh, drinking AG1. It's the first thing that I do every morning and I feel like I have a lot of energy and also that my body recovers a lot faster. Like now that I've gotten used to it, it feels like my body is craving it if it doesn't get it. AG1 is currently the only supplement that I'm taking and it has 75 different ingredients including vitamins, minerals, probiotics and adaptogens. As long as I'm eating healthy, AG1 is the only thing that my body needs. The taste is great and it also has no added sugar, no artificial colors, sweeteners or preservatives. For me, the best part is knowing that my body is getting all these extra nutrients that it otherwise wouldn't have. AG1 is packed with superfoods, including magnesium, which is really good for muscle recovery. And if you want to try it out for yourself, go to athleticgreens.com forward slash Magnus and they will give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. All right, now I'm gonna try my project. Come into this, do this 360 match, and then you do a double dyno down to this. Took me many tries to complete. And then from this, you have to do this huge move like that, all the way up to this thing. Oh. 
<laughs> it's crazy how much of a difference it makes to to film this. Like it always surprises me that I can do stuff that's felt that's felt really hard before. I can do whenever I'm filming. That's maybe something you guys should try at home. Film yourself and see if you do better or worse. My guess is that you're gonna do better. Especially when I don't feel super strong. I really love slab problems. And I really love the competition style too. Especially my generation, they love to hate on uh, competition bowlers. They call it parkour as if it was something negative. But I really like slab problems, even though I'm not very good at them. I enjoy the, like, the jumping around on slabs and big volumes and all that stuff. I, I think slabs usually feel about four grades uh, higher than they really are. So 7A+, 7B, 7B+, 7C, 7C+. Like you have to jump up and land the foot at the same time. If you try to only do this, you're not able to hold yourself like this. And a quick. <sighs> yeah, that definitely felt hard. I'm contemplating trying the red 80 plus again, but I think that I'm going to save that for another video because uh, the, the holes are so tiny that. I don't want to push it too much. I think that you guys are only interested in watching hard problems. I feel like, well, if I'm not in shape, I'm not going to make any videos. But I've been told by people that I meet at the gym that some people at least prefer the easier uh, problems because it's more relatable. Um, so I think it's, it's something that I had to tell myself before going and shooting this video is that I don't have to be in my best shape to shoot a climbing video. Uh, if you guys want to see the best climbers in the world, you wouldn't watch my channel because I'm not the best climber in the world. Uh, so I guess that's not why you watch me. Um, so that's what I've been trying to tell myself. Uh, please let me know in the comments if that is correct or not. Let's see if there's something upstairs maybe. This reminds me of good old times. It's currently, it's almost 1 a.m. And this is how I used to film, like, really late in the gym, always. Okay, this is a slope B7B+. Now that one was pretty easy for the grade. Or it suits me or maybe a combination of both. This wall is usually the hardest for me. I haven't tried either of these, but the hardest one is uh, 6C. And uh, on this wall, I've fallen on like six Bs before. This is the most slabby wall we have. How do you do this? This looks so hard. No way. That just goes to show like on slab, we're all equal. Sometimes when there's a lot of people watching, I'm afraid of trying these problems because I don't want, I don't want people to see me fail on like six C's, but uh, okay, well, how do you do this? I guess like I was trying. <laughs> no way. It's like a one foot squat. That's a hard 60. So climbing grades can be very subjective. Like sometimes the root setters will just put a grade on the bowler without even trying it. And it's hard sometimes to know if you have progression or not. And that's why I think it's good sometimes to either have certain strength tests that you try that are relevant to climbing or even doing like uh, climbs on a moon board or a kilter board, a standardized board, uh, because those problems get climbed way more. So the, the grades are more accurate. I'm gonna start with 7B and then move up and then see how far I can get. 
This one is called One More Rest Day, Please. So this might be really revealing because uh, on a kilter board, it's not so much about technique. 7B should feel easy. If this doesn't feel easy, I'm gonna start crying. So right now it's on 40 degrees, this wall. So this is 7B plus. That should also feel easy, but I'm not gonna cry if I don't do it. And I haven't tried any of these before, by the way. Like usually when I do kilterboard sessions, I will log prompts so that I know if I've tried them before. It doesn't look so bad, but it's really hard to say always. Sometimes they look not so bad and they're really hard. So I like to rest at least like five minutes between every bowler to make sure that I'm completely recovered because this is not an endurance session, but I never time my rest. That takes a lot of the joy out of a session if you have to sit there with a stopwatch. So I usually just like to feel like when my body is recovered, then I'll go again. Now I'm gonna have to start trying really hard. Looks like this right here is the crux. It's a low start. Seven C check. Now seven C plus. So if I'm in shape, usually seven C plus is all right. I'll do it first try, but now I'm not sure. It has 366 ascents. Like there's so many strong people out there. It's crazy. I feel like this and this is gonna be the hard move and also getting the foot down there. And usually I'm very impatient. So I have a hard time resting enough between attempts. Usually you wanna rest more than you think. And I hope that you've enjoyed this more climbing specific video so far. I feel like there should always be a purpose uh, for a YouTube video. Either it should be entertaining or it should be educational or it should be inspiring. If a video doesn't have either of that, I feel like it's, it's a waste, so. I always try to think of that when I make videos. I can't see the photo, where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, shit. Should have done that first try. So this is wagon light, and I think this is a, it's supposed to be like a replica of off the wagon, which is a really famous bullet problem in Switzerland. You're supposed to do this like cross move here, but it looks like it's maybe easier to grab it like this. That was uh, better than I thought, actually. I thought it would stop at 8A. I said that I was gonna go until I couldn't do anymore, so I guess we're trying 8A plus. Miami Vice Grip. There's so many footholds on this. So this one has 126 ascents. I gotta say though, this one doesn't look so bad. Uh, wait, I take that back, actually. That, and no, wait. I think you're supposed to go down like this and then like that. But I might try to just mash this. Oh wait, no, that's not possible. Yeah, maybe you have to do it this way. 
That is a hard move though. Yeah, that's really hard. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the way I would do it. But I'm gonna call it, but since this was more like a, I feel like it's kind of like a retro video, I'm gonna go downstairs and try Slab of the Week to make it complete. So a lot of people have done this, but it could still be really hard. You never know with slabs, all right. Okay, yeah, that was actually pretty easy. Actually, I wonder if you can do this with only feet. Why, why am I chalking up? I don't need chalk when I'm only gonna use my feet anyways. So I think that was it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.